Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. Had to come tap in real quick, man. Fort Worth, Texas rapper. Go, yeah, yo, yeah, yizzle, man. Made an announcement today on Instagram and uh, seen a few blogs posted it, but then my supporters hit the comment section on the, on the uh, YouTube video saying, hey, man, what you think about this? And I was like, shit, this shit make perfect sense. I mean, why not? That's how I look at this shit. I mean, you've been rapping for these years. You've been putting in clearly one of the biggest rap artists in Texas, uh, consistently doing videos. Who knows how many videos he got? And he's saying he wants the negotiations to start at a million. High is bitter. Also said he made a quarter million off mixtapes, no manager, no big homie. And said he want 10 million for 4E. Now, I'm going to tell y'all like this, man. In this business right here. Most of the time, it ain't about what you're worth. It's about what you negotiate. It's about your knowledge versus their knowledge because they're going to try to undercut you and lowball you. Now, me personally, this is just me. Me looking at how the business is in 2020, how the game is going, the way these record labels move. They be having underhanded shit going on. They can sign you. And then on paper, you can't release music. On paper, they can take your features down. On paper, they can want a piece of a dollar. They can want money off of every dollar you make and take the larger slice on paper. There's always a gray area in these contracts. It ain't never no, hey, man, I'm finna go sign this contract and everything gonna be sweet now. And then you can get a lawyer to read over it. It's still leverage enough for them to win. It's never uh, it's never for the, them to uh, lose. Understand that. So, Go Yayo building uh Go Yayo building the platform that he's built, building the, the the lane that he's built, I would say go to an independent distributor. You know what I'm saying? He's already an independent artist. He understands the work, he understands the grind, he know how to release music videos all on his own. He know how to record the mixtapes, get the mixtapes to the streaming sites, he knows how to interact with his fans, he knows how to get attention for the moment. I say this, man, if you have this as an artist, find an independent distributor. Now, they not going to give you a million dollars on the first go round, but on the second go round, they might throw that to you once you prove, okay, we're going to get this back off of you. That way you can own your masters. Because if you sign to them record labels, you don't own your masters most of the time. You could try to negotiate it, but that's a hard fight to win in there. You don't own your masters. You don't own a lot of shit. Go look at Empire. I don't think Empire is the only independent distribution company, but they one of the major ones and everybody over there lit in the motherfucker. Just being honest, you got Money Man over there. You got Jack Boy over there. You got the Bay Area artists over there. Uh, California artists, Mizey motherfucking um, Filthy Rich. Uh, who else, man? Cookie, man, so many people over there and Empire on that West Coast because it's uh, Bay Area based and everything like that. Detroit artists. Young Dolph, uh, who else, man? King Von, man. It's a lot of artists uh, that's over there that are very, very successful. Uh, Stupid Young, he over there. There's so many artists over there with Empire. I would say get in a situation like that where you can get these relationships, these distributors you need. They're going to put your music in the right places, and you're going to run your bag up. And you ain't you can release. Look at these artists. They release two and three projects a year. No problem. That's the type of artist J.O. is. He going to release music when he want to, when he feel like it. Shoot videos when he want to and feel like it. Him signing to a major record label, they going to put a halt to that shit. And I just feel like being an independent partnership deal is the best way to go, especially being a Texas nigga. You know, we understand the independent hustle and how that game work. If you are a fan of the rap game or if you are a rapper in the rap game, that independent wave in Texas is way more successful. They're going to better put you in better placements, promo, better shows, and you're going to have the freedom with your creative thoughts and processes, man. And the whole team going to be able to go over there and do the same thing when y'all run it up. So that's just my personal opinion. Hey, tell me what y'all think about this, man.